For 16, we have what we call a regular polygon. So let's talk about what a regular polygon is. Now, if you look on my prep sheet over here, you'd see a formula for regular polygons right there at the bottom here. So a regular polygons formula is pretty much n squared, no, sorry, n minus two times 180. Um, so for example, in a heptagon, like in my example over here, the heptagon has seven sides. So it would be seven minus two times 180 equal to the total number of the sum of all the angles in the heptagon, which is a seven-sided polygon. So in this case, though, they're telling us that we do not know how many sides this polygon has. So we're saying, we're, we're told that it has n sides. So we know it has n sides. That n could be 10, 12, 8, 2, whatever numbers. Well, it can be 2, um, 3 or more. It, it could be... Um, uh, it could be a certain number of sides. So anyways, the question is now saying, says that what is the n? Meaning let's look for that value of n. Well, if we use the formula n minus two times 180, we know that one angle of the interior angles, and this is only for interior angles, by the way, is 168. One of them is 168. But do you agree, you must agree that the total number of of the sum of all the angles would be that 168 times, 168 times the number of sides you have. So this makes sense that I can write this equation, that my n minus 2 times 180 should equal to one of those 168 times the number of sides that we will have available to us, which looks like this. Now multiply this 180 through, you're going to get 180n minus 360 equal to 168n. This is where we are. Now obviously we want to bring like terms together. So I'm going to bring 168 over here. I'm going to be 360 there. So this is 180n minus 168n <clears throat> equal to 360. And if you subtract this, you're going to get 12n equal to 360. And obviously, we can divide by 12 on both sides. So the n, guys, is going to be 30, and the answer is D. So the key there is in recognizing that the 168 they gave you was for one angle, but since they are n sides, even though we don't know what that n is, you can make that the total on this part of the equation. Because this equation, n minus 2 times 180, is equal to the total number of angles. Well, if you know one of them, and the n of them, it's 168n. And that's how we're going to get this. And the answer here is D for number 16.